This beautiful photo of Granville Beach in Trinidad will be gracing the pages of the 2020 calendar of the World Meteorological Organization, taken by a Kalina. And basically, it's a wonderful photo with all the colors, as you can see, across there, across Granville Beach. Now, the colors will likely be repeated across many parts of the country, at least for the day. We have lots of dry, stable air around that should lead to some quite beautiful sunsets. And we're looking at mostly a clear night across Tobago, sunny skies through your Wednesday morning and afternoon. A very low chance of any showers here that could be on the heavy or thundery side, especially for Trinidad. Only at the low chance around western areas of you hearing a rumble or two of thunder. Most of the showers should be fairly brief, popping up during the heat of the day. You're looking at between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m. But beyond that, you should be seeing lots of sunshine, at least for Wednesday. But change is in the air. Temperature-wise, we're expecting to see warm conditions of 32 degrees Celsius for the most part. And if you are heading offshore, the uh, hazardous seas alert has been discontinued. Those northeasterly swells, which are quite long, have now dropped down to about 13 seconds. They are subsiding further through Wednesday. I'm looking at moderate choppy seas of 2 meters through the Caribbean and the Atlantic. Now, after a warm night of 24 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, 25 in Tobago, looking at 32 across both Trinidad and Tobago, maybe a touch of 33 possible around the port of Spain. Now, on Thursday, we've been talking about a change. We will be seeing some intertropical convergence zone activity and moisture coming through on a Thursday. So that will increase the risk of us seeing street or flash flooding, especially around Trinidad. There's a medium to high chance of some of those showers turning heavy and thundery then. We also have quite stormy weather across the Azores as they go through their Wednesday. Hurricane Lorenzo continues to march towards the northwest and it will continue to reach possibly close towards the UK as they get towards Thursday. They could also be seeing uh, some uh, travel disruptions, power cuts, as well as localized flooding as the system comes by over the next uh, few days. Meanwhile, towards Port-au-Prince and Santo Domingo, there's an area of low pressure just to the west of uh, Jamaica, funneling in some moisture and instability here. Some of those showers could be on the heavy side around Haiti, and they're obviously concerned about street or flash flooding there. For the Eastern Caribbean, it's mostly settled, sunny for the most part. And then we get down to Georgetown, where we'll see some of those showers coming through getting no higher than 32 degrees Celsius. So for Wednesday then, sunny with us as brief showers around and feeling warm. That's weather and that's for me.